Welcome to our tutorial on converting multiple rows into a single row in Excel. We'll explore both a formula-based method and a VBA macro approach to streamline your data consolidation. First, let's look at the formula-based method. This technique uses a combination of offset, row, floor, and column functions to achieve our goal. Assume we have data in the range A1, B6 and we want to flatten this data into a single row. We'll use the following formula in cell A1 of a new worksheet. Enter the formula and drag the autofill handle to the right until you get the number 0. The numbers 6 and 2 in the formula represent the total number of rows and columns, respectively. Now, let's move on to the VBA macro method, which provides a powerful way to convert data with more control and customization. To start, open your Excel workbook and press Alt plus F11 or go to the Developer tab and click Visual Basic to open the VBA editor. In the VBA editor, click Insert and then Module to create a new module where we'll write our macro. Now, let's write the VBA macro. Copy and paste the provided code into the module window. This code will allow us to select a range and a destination cell to place our flattened data. After pasting the code, save it by clicking Save button in the VBA editor. This step ensures that your macro is saved with your workbook. Go back to your Excel worksheet and press Alt plus F8 to open the Macro dialog box. Select Convert Multiple Rows to One Row and click Run. You'll be prompted to select the range of cells you want to convert and the destination cell where the data will be placed. Follow the on-screen prompts to make your selections. After running the macro, observe the result. Your multiple rows should now be converted into a single row in the specified destination cell. Congratulations! You've learned two methods to convert multiple rows into a single row in Excel, enhancing your data manipulation capabilities. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.